Hello and welcome to Virtual Ventrilock. Today we'll be doing the Loki fireworks hand thingy. You can do that, this, you can tweak it, you can make it the way you like it. I'm just gonna show you the basic. We start with the first scene. Let's land the camera on the x-axis. Just put whatever you want. Press Ctrl LT0 and the camera is gonna snap. Where the viewport is. Delete the cube, the light, add a plane. RY90, scale it up just to be slightly bigger than the camera. This is going to be our uh, footage. Let's give it a uh, material, new material, make it emission. On the color, we're going to use image texture. Find your video. I'm having it on desktop. Give it many frames. Click auto refresh on default use window. If we go on the render view, we have our footage. Now ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, refraction, motion blur and the color management from filmic to standard. The usual stuff that we have to do before anything. PFX, motion tracking. We need to have one tracker. Find the video. Load in, set scene frames, prefetch, keyframe, previous frame, normalize, and to close that little window. <coughs> uh, let's go to first frame, add a little charcoal, scale it up a little bit, not that much, a little bit. Track it a couple frames and track forward. It worked beautifully. Go to solve, geometry, link empty to track. We're done tracking for this tutorial layout. Let's just move the plane slightly on the x-axis backwards. Scale down the empty. If we go up here, we have something that is, we can make the plane non-clickable, so we're not gonna click on it by mistake. Actually, we need to make the plane slightly bigger Scale it up a little bit. Just tweak it here and there until it fits. Let's make it unclickable. Scale down the empty. It looks quite large. Shift A, mesh a circle. Place the circle on top of like where is your palm is. Tweak it, rotate it, make it as big as your footage is, whatever is good for you. Tab to go to edit mode, E to exclude, right mouse button, uh, scale and scale inward a little bit. Let's add the modifier, simple deform. And your video probably is going to be different than mine. So just make it as good for your video it is. For me, it's worked like that. Anyway, this is just for the visual effects. The fireworks is going to catch the whole attention. Now if we press the circle and the empty, Control P, we're going to parent it together. So where the hand is, is the circle as well. Let's give it a uh, material. I like it emission. Green. Actually I need to make it emission first. Emission bluish green something like that i don't know the color of that make the strength of the three and voila now let's start with the particles let's add in first a icosphere uh, subdivision make it one scale it down move it Anyway, it doesn't matter because this is not going to appear in the final render. So, you don't need to worry about it. To cover it. Just place it there. Looks good. Now let's make it uh, look like a firework. Keyframes. Bring it to 40. And now move it whatever you think is looks good for you for me looks good there keyframe 
and now if we play the video we see that we have the something magical happen particle system and the particle system a number of 5000 frame stack one finish a 40 try match it lifetime 30 a bit of randomness on the velocity on the normal put zero randomize a little bit rotation random rotation random randomize and random phase physics uh, put a little bit of damp actually one and on the render tab uh, we need to add a a particle for the particle system I tried to duplicate but it's not good it's not working so I'm gonna add another icosphere subdivision is good put it down outside the frame I scale it down and I put it on the right because if you you can make as many particle system as you want and let's keep it organized let's rename this firework firework blue because it's gonna have blue color and then icosphere we're gonna name it particle blue try to keep it organized so we're not gonna click everything whatever is the same yeah you know what I mean Let's give it an emission. Let's make it blue. Strength of 10. We're done with the first particle, the firework. Let's go down to the render as, render as object. And on the object, unclick show emitter on the ob object, we're gonna use the blue particle. Now if we play, there is some magic happening. Uh, it looks more like a rocket than a fireworks but we're gonna tweak a little bit of lifetime so it takes the particle dies faster still look like a rocket let's uh, scale it down to 0 0.03 I know where the problem is The problem is with the gravity, but I'm gonna get that as well. Let's give some randomness, scale randomness. It looks a little bit better, but I c we can make it look even more better. Anyway, let's add another particle system. Let's give it a number of 10,000. Hopefully computer is gonna work, okay. Start frame 40 and 45, lifetime 30, scale randomness, normal, let's put it zero. The randomize is the one that makes the explosion, rotation, random rotation, random phase, random random. From halo to object, and let's give it the blue particle as you can see some craziness is happening but the gravity is way too strong for these little particles so I need to put the gravity like really really small and now boom we have the our first half firework look at that amazing if you tweak the randomize it's gonna make the explosion bigger or it's gonna make the explosion smaller as I said earlier I know the gravity so we can fix the particle shooting as well the firework and we have our first firework from from now on it's gonna be really easy you can add as many fireworks you want as many colors you want we're gonna take the firework blue we're gonna take the particle first shift D put it whatever you think let's make it particle red let's name it particle red let's go to the beginning let's actually we need to dupli duplicate the material don't forget this is important make it red now we're gonna take the particle blue shift D right click mouse button gonna name this firework red 
try to keep it organized so we know what we're clicking. Let's go to particle system, click on the fireworks red. Actually you need to click on the particle red. Move it a little bit. It starts at frame 21. And uh, the last one, I'm gonna need to delete it because it goes the same way as the first blue fireworks. I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna add some new ones. Frame 60, I'm gonna put it whatever, whatever you think it looks good. Add the keyframe got the particle system don't forget to duplicate everything stays the same just change from particle blue to particle red second particle system duplicate change from particle blue to particle red now I have this craziness is happening and we need to tweak something else the frames so this one has to start at 21, <laughs> particle system first, you have to put it at 21 and ends at 66, 61 sorry. And go to the second particle system from 61 to 65, just to make the explosion, 65. 66 and now it works beautifully and now you can add as many particles as you want I'm having a little bit of issue here I've solved it with uh, just uh, deleting the damping so putting zero on the damp and then put one on damp again and it got fixed now let's add one more particle system which is going to be the last one for this tutorial shift D on the particle let's make this particle yellow I'm a slow typer and let's duplicate the firework shift D right click and let's rename this firework yellow try keep it as organized as possible let's actually give it a yellow don't forget to duplicate the material yellow color We've done with this. We go to the to the keyframes. We need to click on the firework, not on the particle. Firework yellow. Just repeat the process. Delete keyframe. Move that one. I'm gonna put it at 60, and it's gonna end at around. 80 is this one is gonna explode faster just move it now let's go to the particle system first particle system don't forget to duplicate frames set the frames to start at 60 and at 80 and just to change the particle from a red particle to yellow particle second particle system same as we did before duplicate frame start at 80 ends at 85 and just change the particle on the yellow particle and voila here we have our lucky hand firework you can tweak it you can make it look the way I don't know I, I'm doing this for my video so this is like a idea how to do it if you tweak the randomize you can make the explosion bigger you can make the explosion smaller as you can see here if I put like 0.5 it's gonna be really really small so it's up to your video and how far you your camera was when 
you have your footage as you can see five is huge explosion it's way too big for my camera so i'm going to keep it at around 1.5 probably looks good here we have the Loki fireworks tutorial and as a last uh, as a last uh, tweak to make it look even better press F12 have a screenshot compositing use notes and to close the little window use notes shift A to add a viewer viewer and we're gonna add the glare node shift A glare we're gonna change it from uh, strikes to fog glow bam bam that's an update I don't know why but thank you for watching hopefully you learned something today and don't forget to subscribe if you find something useful bye now until next tutorial